So back to training for about a month now. What's it like being in this new uh, age of COVID? Yeah, it's uh, obviously different. It's good to be on the field. That's the most important thing with the guys after a long period off. Um, and just, uh, you know, going through uh, all the different measures we have to do and, and how we're training and what we can do in training. Um, but I think we've done a great job as a coaching staff, all of us, uh, in just planning, keeping things uh, entertaining for the guys, making sure we're getting the physical components there and slowly, slowly making sure all the football is coming through. So when the day comes that uh, we're kicking a ball, we're ready to go. And uh, knowing that the league hasn't announced its return yet, uh, what are you doing to keep that competitive spirit going uh, with the team? Yeah, I think it's important in training sessions uh, to make sure we have competitiveness. So different types of games, whether it's from warm up or even uh, the game, some of the uh, things we're doing within uh, within training themselves, just keeping it competitive amongst the guys. They usually uh, will put up some wagers against themselves and uh, hopefully they're living up to it after uh, training sessions. But just trying to keep their eyes sharp. The one thing we know is uh, that uh, we, we hope we're going to play. We think uh, that's going to come soon, but uh, we have to have the mentality that it's coming. Uh, it's coming in the in the near future. I need to be prepared for that. And uh, just to piggyback off that, um, how long do you think it'd be for the guys just to be fully match fit? Yeah, it's a great question. Everyone uh, asks it. We're obviously in this uh, in this new uh, era of how we do things, especially with sports. Uh, uh, are we going to be fully fit? Uh, I don't think so. You know, I'm, I'm being honest on that. I think, you know, we're going to get to a point when we're playing and uh, all teams around the league will probably be about 80 to 85 percent there. Um, but nothing can replicate the match. And right now, you know, we're not playing friendly matches. Uh, there's not contact in, in training and a lot of things uh, that we're doing. So it's going to it's going to take some time. So I think, you know, uh, uh, as a coaching staff, you know, our hope is that we got the guys, you know, 80, 85 percent of the way there. Uh, and I think that'll be very good. You know, it's one of the things we've we've studied for some of the other leagues around the world that have gotten started, uh, whether it's overseas in Europe or MLS themselves and just seeing how they've how they've worked where the players have been at in, in their stage once they've started to, to play games. And I think it's hard to say that uh, any team's uh, going to be 100%, but I think that's our goal. And uh, the great thing we have is we have a lot of continuity from last year in the team. You know, we're not reinventing the wheel. We're not learning to play the game as a team uh, right from the beginning so the guys understand what's needed, what our principles are of, uh, of the game. And I think that helps us a long way to being uh, very prepared uh, for when we're able to uh, kick off the season. And knowing that there's been such a big heat wave these past two weeks in training, uh, what's sort of the precautions that you've been taking with the guys? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been interesting. You know, we uh, we got back to the field and uh, the heat hit, and a lot of days we're out there with uh, 40 degree weather. Um, so just taking the proper breaks, making sure the guys are are hydrated well, not just here at training, but before they're coming in. We've gone to earlier training sessions. Um, so during the the peak of the heat wave, we're starting sessions at 7:45 in the morning. Um, just making sure we can get the guys in here, get the session out in a in a very sharp manner, um, because uh, if you're training in the afternoon, you're not going to have a lot of sharpness with the guys.